This information better be good, Madame Elvira. You know the routine. First you must cross my palm with silver, darling. Drop the act, Elvira. I'm not one of your gullible punters. What have you heard? Thank you, darling. You are familiar with the crystal of St. Helena? Of course. So it appears is the Grand Master. Go on. He has great interest in this crystal and is very close to discovering its location. <laughs> that crystal was lost over 2,000 years ago. The Grand Master has no chance. I'm wasting my time. No, no, he has put together a crack team. The best in the business, apparently. Believes they will find it by the end of today. And once they have found it, the Grand Master plans to use the crystal to power a weapon of... a weapon of ferocity never before seen. Where did you get this information? An American who goes by the name of Hal McMasters. Masters? Yes, I know him. A weapons expert kicked out of the CIA. And now working for the Grand Master. Building his super gun. Stark, this is a code red. I need a list of every available MI9 agent. Oh, there must be some others. Tell me there's some others. <laughs> I had no idea fortune telling could be so. Lucrative, Flopsy. <laughs> The 21st century faces a new kind of threat. Old school spies have had their day, and MI9 must create a new breed of skilled undercover agent. Hidden in a place no villain will think to look. Welcome to MI High. The Grand Master is very close to building a super weapon of a power the world has never seen. You're not my first choice for such a mission, but needs must. Nice to be appreciated. You said close to, so he can still be stopped. Yes, as he's missing one vital component. Allow me to introduce you to the renowned archaeologist Vincent Argyle, another so-called teenage expert. Please call me Vinny. Vincent is so baroque. <laughs> very good. I've read your book. The one on the collapse of the Byzantine culture? Fascinating read. Yeah, if you don't mind, international emergency, remember? This is the missing component that we must get to before the Grand Master. An artist's impression based on every fact that we know about it. Known as the Crystal of St. Helena, it was stolen from the Temple of Artemis in 26 BC by this man. Marcus Pessimist. Roman general by day, thief by night. He plundered everywhere he went, stockpiling silver, gold, diamonds, anything of value. Thanks for the history lesson. But how's this going to help us find the crystal before the Grand Master? Please be patient. Pessimist got wind that the Senate were onto him, so he did a runner, taking with him all his riches and, we suspect, the crystal. Complete and ready for action, sir. Place the crystal into this cavity and you can create enough power to make an entire city disappear. Music to my ears. Without the crystal, this machine is inoperative. About as useful as a chocolate teapot. Yes, yes, I get your gist. I can see why the CIA fired you. Such negativity. What's so amazing about the crystal, anyway? It is believed to be made from pure tritemerite. And what exactly is tritemerite? Well, apart from being extremely rare, tritemerite is an element 100 times more powerful than plutonium. It makes the nuclear bomb look like a cap gun. I wish I hadn't asked. My source tells me that the Grand Master has dispatched a crack team to locate it and bring it to him. Do we have any intel on this team? None. Except that they have been very highly trained. Pessimist kept a diary, and it's exhibited in the National Museum. I suggest we start there. Isn't that where we're going for a field trip next week? The trip's been brought forward. The coach is leaving in five minutes. Take this. I call her Maud. Multi-application utility device. 
Whoa, is this a laser? Yes, we can cut through a uh, tungsten carbide in, in a matter of seconds. This is an infrared atomizer, and here is a miniaturized version of our old friend, the sham machine. Nice. I've arranged mobile backup. Shout when you need it. And be extra vigilant. You must get to that crystal before the skull agents. All right, boys and girls, this way. Follow me. Right. Now, gather round, because today we're all going to be shown some items of great historical importance. So Most of which are irreplaceable. So do not touch. In fact, don't even breathe over anything. Am I understood? Oh. You of all people should heed my words, Timothy. One foot out of place, and you will be history. If you get my gist. Yes, Mr. King. As well as decorative, they also had a practical use as an early wall insulation. Davina. Sorry, miss. Arguably, the most famous example is the Bayo Tapestry. Though, in fact, the Bayo isn't a tapestry at all, but is an embroidered cloth. The art of tapestry weaving, or as the Boussier once aptly called them, nomadic murals, has been practiced since at least the third century BC. This one here documents the hunting of a wild deer, a feast for a week. That is so barbaric. The earth provides plenty of food without having to resort to murder. And if you all turn around, over here is the diary of Marcus Pessimist. Uh, it's a caribou. I beg your pardon? The tapestry. It's not a deer, it's a caribou. Which, as the caribou is native to North America, suggests that the tapestry is a fake. There is nothing fake in my museum. Then I must be mistaken. Please forgive me. And if I can redirect your attention back to the diary of Marcus Pessimist. And if you all follow me, it would help if I knew what we were looking for. Thanks for your help out there. You're welcome. Anything in the diary which will point us in the direction of the crystal? As my health wanes, my wealth grows. I've secreted away my fortune. Its location will be with me always, viewed but never seen. Viewed but never seen? But with him always. A grave is viewed. Could he have had it buried with him? Hardly. Now please, I'm trying to concentrate. The location of the treasure will be with him always, viewed but never seen. That suggests a map of some kind concealed under something. With him always. Some kind of image of pessimist, maybe? His portrait. portrait! It's being exhibited here, I'm sure of it! The portrait room! May I inquire, sir, as to whether you identified your first target? There are so many to choose from. Once we have the crystal, the whole world will be at my mercy. Look closely on that stone there, you will be able to see the skeleton of a one million year old crustacean. Have to be a very crushed Alsatian to fit on there. The clue to the location is beneath the paint. We'll need to remove that top layer. The painting will be ruined. No need. And that is. Sham machine. It's like a mini x ray machine. It exposes whatever's beneath the surface. Whoa! How do I get one of those? By joining MI9. I might just do that. Oscar, can you smell gooseberries? Oh no, that'll be us. <laughs> Go back. There. It looks like some sort of monument. It is. It's Black Clock Monument. Is it close? Very. Frank, we could use that mobile backup now. Hello? Stop! No, 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 no. 
It's not what it looks like. Uh, it's on the floor. I'll, I'll just put it back up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Likely story. I know an international art thief when I see one. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. It's my final warning. <laughs> Oi! Come back here! No uniform for me. Sorry. They don't make one in tweed. I suppose I do look a little bit like... Weeby? Right. This chap is Hetraticus, the enigmatic leader of the fiercest army in history. So smooth. Don't touch. That piece is priceless. Hetraticus owned a very... Don't tell me. Beard. This is King's Father wobbly and about me going able one. Now I'm toast. No. She hadn't noticed she'd gone. Really? Oh, wicked. <laughs> My luck is turning. <laughs> had been during this time. As I was saying, Hetraticus' uh, reputation on the battlefield is an impressive one. According to legend, he once slew a unit of two dozen Imperial Guards single-handedly. So much so that a bounty of 10,000 denarii which is about a quarter of a million pounds in today's terms, and onwards. I seem to have mislaid my pointer. The clue must be here somewhere. We just have to find it. Oh, well, I can see why you were snapped up by MI9. The point I was trying to yep, make. Yep, yep. Let's get on with it, shall we? We're running out of time. He's a bit full of himself, isn't he? This is passion, Oscar. Don't take it so personally. Hey, Billy, wait up. Hey, let's go and find that clue before them, yeah? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> You're very young to be an archaeologist. You're very young to be a spy. <laughs> Touche. I've always loved archaeology. Studying the way that people used to live in the past can tell us so much about how we became who we are today. Exactly. Hey! We win! Take a look at this. Look. An inscription. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Well, a 13 and a 7. Any no ideas what that could mean? Are both prime numbers? One unlucky and one lucky? No, it's much simpler than that. It's a date. Oscar, look up Pessimist Diary entry from the 13th of July. Loose leaves are like loose tongues. They reveal the best kept secrets. So we're looking for a plant of some kind? No, not leaves, Cassie. Leafs. It's Carrie. He's talking about a leaf from a book. A page. Correct. But, but what book? Well, these fell out of the diary in the museum. It's a cipher sheet. In pessimist time, this was all the vogue. A code that was invisible. Just holes. But put these holes in the right place and there you have your answer. Basic but brilliant. The inscription. Ah-ha-ha. <laughs> S-W-E-E-N-S. Swings? No, they're compass points. South, west, east, etc. That's what I said. Swings. There's a sundown at the centre of the stone. I'll do it. I think Pessimist enjoyed setting Don't this trail. Be. I know. It's like he's playing a game with us from beyond the grave. E. And I love these kind of games. I know, isn't it brilliant? Ah. E. N. Swains. <laughs> Spiders. Come on, let's go. He's keen. Great. I guess we're going this way then. Our team are getting closer to the crystal, Flopsy. Time to choose our first target.
dead end. Or another puzzle. Is it just me or is there something about him that doesn't quite fit? No, but I just think he's, well, self-obsessed. <laughs> That's all. Hey, guys, give him a break, OK? He's helping us, isn't he? Oh, no. Frank! The Grand Masters has revealed his first target. Big Ben. He's going to vaporize Big Ben. Oscar, Cabby Bose, do you read? HQ to field. Please respond. They must be in a black spot. The entire nation will be a black spot if we don't stop the Grand Master getting that crystal. They are doing the best they can. I'll check the GPS, see if we can get a fix. I told you never to use this number unless it was an emergency. What? Are you sure? Madame Elvira. She's one of your informants, isn't she? She was found tied and gagged in her tent. Someone even dressed up in her clothes and pretended to be her. <laughs> it was a man, too. Who would fall for that? Hey, I think I found something. Exiont. It's another word for exit. It's Latin. It's solid. We're gonna have to cut through it. Cover your eyes. Done. Oh, well, one of us is going to have to put our hands in there. I'll do it. No. You're just an advisor. I'll do it. Oscar! <laughs> Couldn't resist. Oh. <laughs> Don't pull us twice, Oscar. I don't think he's joking this time. Something's got my wrist done. It, it's a Roman <laughs> snare. Oscar, the more you resist, the more it will pull you in. Try to relax. It's kind of hard right now. Maud, where is it? It's in his pocket. <laughs> Which was a cutter. Harry, quickly, he's suffocating! <laughs> this Marcus Pessimus is really starting to annoy me. What can you feel? Just a small hole. How big is the hole? About so big. It's a key. made one of the greatest scientific discoveries in the history of mankind. And possibly the most destructive. Can I hold it? No, I'll take it. Now, how are we going to get out of here? My guess is we climb that. How deep underground are we? It seems to go on forever. I'll go first. It could be booby trapped. Let's go. You have it. Excellent work. I'll be right over. What's your location? I'm not sure. I've activated the tracker. You should find us. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I've been dreading this moment, as inevitable as it was. What do you mean? The team that the Grand Master sent to fetch the crystal. That's us, Rose. You're working for the Grand Master. Yeah. Sorry. Move. Frank? I think I may have made a bit of a boo-boo. None of us are perfect. A big boo-boo, actually. It was Madame Elvira that gave me the tip-off. Go on. Or who I thought was Madame Elvira. It's not good, Frank. 
The man impersonated here was the Grand Master. But why would he tip you off about looking for the crystal? He'd know that you'd send a team of agents. He used you. He's using MI9. It's a trap, and I've sent my team straight into it! Oscar, Carrie Rose, do you read? Oh, come on. We've got to find... What this needs, it's a chunky black belt. You know, break up the silver. Help! Help! I'm unstuck! We're back in the museum. I'll call Frank. Not a good idea. If you're wondering, this is the prototype of the Grand Master's super weapon. The amount of tritemerite that powers this is the size of a pinhead. It could vaporize the three of you in the blink of an eye. Think what the big gun will do. How can you live with yourself? Sometimes you have to do terrible things in order to achieve your ends. Now, give me the crystal. Don't. Oscar. I really don't want to harm you, any of you, but I will if I have to. Now hand it over. If the Grand Master builds that super weapon, there could be hundreds of thousands of victims. Innocent people, every one of them. I will use this if you force me to. Let him. My life is nothing compared to the devastation the Grand Master's super weapon will create. I knew there was a reason I didn't like you. You're a traitor. Sticks and stones. Don't make me do it. He's not worth it, Oscar. It's more beautiful than I ever imagined. The crystal and the MI9 agents. Vinny, you've surpassed yourself. That's far enough, Grand Master. Vinny, I don't understand. These three, you can have, no charge. But this little beauty, I'm keeping for myself. You are double-crossing me. Oh, don't act so surprised. It was you who trained me. What will you do with it without the weapon? It's worthless. Do you think I'm an idiot? This is tritemerite. The rarest element on our planet and a thousand times more valuable than diamonds. Now, if you wouldn't mind, Goodbye, Rose. I'll never forget you. Ditto. I wish he'd stop doing that. Come on, we need to find Vinny. Split up. He can't have got far. The Grand Master! We lost him in the museum! Why couldn't you just leave it? It's my job. Don't even think about it. Join me. What? You and me, we, we make a great team, Rose. Your brilliance and my guile. We're Premier League, Rose. Don't you dare compare me with you. You're a liar and a traitor. I did what I had to do, and believe me when I say I hated deceiving you. But money's more important, is it? Oh, not at all. It's simply a means to an end. There are so many wonderful things out there, Rose, still to be discovered. Noah's Ark. The lost city of Atlantis. The Holy Grail. The 
The lost world of Lemuria too, I suppose. Yes, Lemuria, hidden miles beneath the Pacific Ocean. It could blow the lid of evolutionary thinking. But it takes money, lots of it, if these artifacts and places are to be found. That's why I did this. You and me together, we have the brain power and the skill to be the greatest explorers that ever lived. And we've already proved that by finding the crystal. Think what else we could achieve, Rose. But that'll make me as bad as you. I'm not bad. Impassioned, yes. Driven by my love of archaeology, and guilty as charged. But not bad. Surely you can see that. Then do the right thing. You help find the crystal. As a civilian, you might get a reward enough to get you started on your expeditions. You know that would never happen, Rose. But what could is you and me could walk out of here now and start the greatest adventure ever. Come on, Rose. What do you say? Where's Rose? I've tried to communicate her mobile nothing. Have you any idea what you've thrown away? Somebody take him away, please. Where's the crystal? Look this away. Rosie, okay? Yeah, I'm fine. A little wiser, maybe. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, we're four short. Oh, for goodness sake. Um, where are Rose, Carrie, Oscar and Timothy? Here, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, you better have a very good excuse for this. <laughs>